y'all. I just got an awesome package in the mail. But listen, um, I'm behind on a lot of videos. A lot of videos because y'all know I work from this one table. But I just ordered this huge, huge conference table <laughs> that's probably going to take up the whole wall over here in my craft room. And then I can move some stuff around and really start cranking out more videos because I have a lot of resin projects going on over here, okay? And I don't have access right now to my other studio space because we're doing some work on it. But anyway, what do I have here? As you can tell by the title, I have another package from Maniology. And let me tell you, I absolutely adore this company. It can be difficult for me to come across a company that I get excited about. Because, you know, a lot of times I order stuff off of Amazon. And it's like, eh, you know. Eh. But I have tons and tons of stamping plates. Some of them work well. Some of them do not work well. Some stampers work well. Some stampers don't work well. And I don't feel like spending my, my daggum hard-earned money to buy all this stuff. And then some works and some doesn't. Over the years, I have acquired quite a collection of stamping plates. If you used to watch my old videos, which some of them I took down because they were terrible. If you watch some of my old videos, then you would see the trouble I had with some of those stampers. But I'm going to tell you, I have not had any trouble with the Maniology stampers. I have not had any trouble with their plates. They are deeply etched. Their polishes are nice and opaque. And their stampers are that really wonderful, squishy gel consistency that picks up the polish really well. Now, if you have not watched my previous Maniology video, I will link to it in the description box and in the comments. So please go watch that. Anyway, what did they send me today? They have sent me, and I'm liking the name of it. Of course, I've already opened this. I, I wanted to open it and make sure everything was right, you know, before I made a video. But we all know how the postal service is. I got a package from UPS the other day that I swear looked like somebody sat on it. Um, but everything in here was good. It's very well packaged. And so they really wrap it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, look at this. Look at this polish. Look at this glue on my hand. Look at this polish. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at it. Would you just look at that holographic sheen? Oh my goodness. Y'all know I love solid black nails, but look, look at this. That is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And what I like about their polishes is they're so opaque. You can use this to paint your nails. You can also use their polishes to stamp. Now, in the past, you know that I used to always use the Sally Hansen Insta-Dry to stamp, but it's like they've changed their formula or something, and it doesn't work nearly as well as it used to. But with these polishes here, like I said, not only can you use it as a base coat, but all of the colors work to stamp with. Even their blues stamp well. And if you are into um, nail art, nail design, you know that blues can be very, very thin, very, like, translucent, transparent. <laughs> it hardly shows up. You have to do layer after layer after layer and forget trying to stamp with it. But with their blues, they stamp really well. Look at the, oh, my purple loving heart. Look at this. This is another rectangular ice cube jelly stamper. It is purple. Would you look at this? And look at the lid here. It has these cute little flowers on it. And this is the scraper card. Y'all watched me do my nails before. This is the scraper card. When you put the polish on the card and you scrape it off. And look, it matches. It matches. <laughs> oh, that makes me... Come back. Jack, come back. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. This set of nail lacquer. This is Grimm's Nightfall. Grimm's Nightfall. Just, just the name is awesome. Grimm's Nightfall. They have the coolest names, and they have the most beautiful colors. Wait till you see these colors. Because like I said, I opened up this box already to make sure nothing was broken, to make sure everything was okay. I saw that this was wrapped in bubble wrap, so I knew it was going to be all right. But look, look. Look at that. Take a sneak peek. Oh, you see them in there? <laughs> look. I just hit my chimes. I'm sorry. Look at those colors. Look at the colors. And these two blues I'm excited about. Because like I said, it can be difficult to find a good opaque blue to stamp with. And certain brands, their stamping polishes, would you come out? Like I said, everything is well packaged, okay? Um, 
their stamping polishes can be very expensive. And I think that Maniology has very good prices on all of their stuff. But anyway, in the description box and in the comments, I'll have a link where you can purchase their stuff. With everything that I've gotten from them so far, I was so happy with everything they sent in the past. I'm so excited. We're going to play with this stuff here in a minute, okay? But look at these colors. Is that not beautiful? We have uh, Dearest or... I think it's supposed to say Dearest Aurora. I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. Gretel Brittle. <laughs> Wolfish. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Wolfish. Mirror, mirror. Soulless. And glass slipper. That is so beautiful. Just look at that blue. I love Grimm's Fairy Tales. I've loved them since I was little. And then I got into the... Um, you know, graphic novels, oh my gosh, the name of the graphic novels with all the fairy tales that just totally went out of my head. Fables, fables. And then I played the fable video game. I'm all into this. So this set, this set makes me happy. Now let's talk about these stamping plates. And I'm going to tell you why I'm so excited about, oh, I just got chills. I got so excited. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I get excited over their stamping plates. Because you know me, I like the darker... Um, like esoteric witchy crystal things. If that's not your cup of tea, that's absolutely fine because they have tons and tons of different styles of plates. You need to go check them out. Where can you get like like spooky Halloween themed things all year round, really? But look at this plate here. Look at this plate. Look, crystals, this crystal frame. Can y'all see it? And look here, the moon and crystals, this one says, love you to the moon and back, reach for the stars, shine bright and way to glow. We have some constellations and more crystals. Is that not beautiful? They really put a lot of effort into the design of their plates. It's not, you know, like your basic does it. I'm really liking this right here. I'm really liking this right here. And that's not going to fit on this now, but you know what? And I'm going to do some future videos on this. If you're worried that these designs won't fit your nail, what I would do is I would tape off like at an angle. I would tape off part of my nail and then paint this one color. And then I would stamp in that same color and kind of like bring it up at an angle. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll do a video because I'm probably not making any sense. But look at those designs. Now, I get a lot of questions. People saying, well... My, my plate isn't working. It's not picking up polish. Honey, this, this is a coating. You have to take this blue coating off, okay? That's just to protect it so that it doesn't get scratched during transit and storage and all that. But you have to pull that off. Now, let's look at this other plate here. It has many allergy on the back. This one I'm so excited about. And you know what? I'm going to do videos on here on my nail channel and on my alternate channel. I will do videos for this because I know a lot of people's going to like this. Tarot cards. Look at this. You have six blank tarot cards down here. And then you have, like, here's the fool and the magician and the empress. You can mix and match and make your own tarot cards. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Now, let's try to look here. I'm trying to angle it so that my light is not going to shine on it. But look at that. Aren't these beautiful? This is so my style. And like I said, it can be very difficult Let's see if we could take one of these off. I have this little um, right here. Now, be careful that you don't drag something across your design and scratch it, okay? I'm just going to carefully go in at the corner. But um, y'all know I love nail art. Like I said, if you watch some of my older videos, then, you know, they were terrible. But I made them. And I was like, you know, I've never heard of this. You know, is, is it new? No, it's not new. Nail stamping is not new. Nail stamping has been around for a very long time. Nail design period has been around, what, since like the 15th century? What, the, the Incas, the Incas were the ones that started to draw little, little delicate and intricate designs on their nails. So, you know, it's, it's nothing, it's nothing new. But I think with Maniology, they have really taken it up to the next level with their selection. So I've ordered mine off of Amazon for years and, you know, various companies over the years and their selection can be kind of, you know. But anyway, oh golly, yeah, this is this is very shiny. And you're going to see <laughs> my pegboards over here with all my supplies. Hang on, I can't even cover it up. Amber, why'd you do that? I don't know. But isn't that beautiful? But that's how you take that off. Now, um, let me 
let me look over here and get some nails set up and we're gonna play with this all right let's get some nails out here um i can't find my package of sticky stuff i just looked in my my nail kit here and it's not there it's like where did it go but anyway let's get some nails put on my little stand here this is just my little magnetic stand y'all seen me use this um i'll have a link down in the description box where you can get one now i just put the sticky tack on it um, you know, like the, um, the tacky stuff, like teachers use to put, um, posters and stuff up on the wall without damaging the wall. But anyway, that's just what this is. I'm not going to fill up all of these on camera because it does take a minute. But let's just, um, let's just get some out here. And then you just take the nail and you just stick it straight down on top of your sticky stuff. Don't, don't bend it on the sides because then that's going to warp the shape of the nail. I just press it straight down and then you're going to take your nail buffer here. I don't want a really rough side. Then you're just gonna buff it just to get that sheen off. Because if you don't do that, it's very hard to get your nail polish to stick, okay? So just buff it like so. And I don't wipe it with alcohol or anything afterwards. I do clean it very well with a cloth. I'm gonna use my shirt because this is a dirty shirt. I've been cleaning out my craft room for like the past few days and this shirt is filthy. Okay. Okay, see how you just buff it so that it's dull like that. All right, you know what? Let's just get this out of the way. Now what I wanna try, I'm excited to try this. Sit still. This, um, where did it go? Hold on. All right, we're here. <laughs> this black magic. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This is the way I do it. Like, tap it, and then just roll it. And then just shake it. All right. I love, let's zoom in. I love holographic polishes. And the way I start is I always start in the middle and work my way down to the edge and then come down, start from the middle and work your way down to the edge. Why do I do that? It prevents the polish from building up under the free edge of the nail. Okay, so middle, out. Now their polishes are so opaque. Depending on the color, you only need one coat. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna hold up to the light, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna put a second coat on here, okay? So we're gonna let this dry. I'm going to put on a second coat, and then I can't wait to play with some of these stamping plates. Okay, so I've got two nails here that I have painted. One with that black magic and the other silver. Um, I don't think that silver one's dry yet. And I'm not even going to get out my mat. All I'm doing is I'm just taking some of this packing tape, and I just roll it so that the sticky side is out, because that's what I use to clean my stampers. All right, so I think this one is dry. Yeah, this one is not dry because I literally just did it. So let's see, set that here. I want to use a really light color, and this is another color that they had sent me. It's called Yummy Gummy, sort of like a, like a lavender color. All right, so you're going to take your stamper, and some stampers need to be primed before you use them because they just don't work. I've never had that problem with a Maniology stamper, so... That's a good thing. You just get your little card here. And like I said, we're going to use this. So you want to do this rather quickly. I'm just going to paint about a third of the way down. Take your scraper, scrape straight down. Take your stamper, just press straight down. Don't press hard. And there's your design. There's your design. I know that's kind of out of the way. So you have your design on your stamper here, and I'm gonna take it, some people press straight down, some people roll, I, I'm gonna press straight down, and then just kinda of gently roll a little bit. And there is your design on your nail, just take my finger and smooth the edge a little bit. And there is the design, how cute is that? How utterly cute is that? Now we're gonna wait for this, uh oh, we're gonna wait for this other nail to dry. And then I'm going to use a darker color so you can see that sort of a contrast. Let's zoom out. I'm not doing this video very well on this part, but like I said, and I might post another one today, I'll do a full video showing you how to do a set of nails with all of their stuff. And just tap that on the tape and it completely clears it. Never ever use acetone on your stampers. 
it will destroy it. Now this is 100% pure acetone. Let's unlock it here. And this little grabby doohickey, this is also from Maniology. Boink! It just grabs your cotton ball. And then you use, did I get any out? Then you just use your cotton ball here and just clean your plate. Clean your plate after every single use or else the polish is going to seep into the cracks and sit there and dry and you will not get a crisp design when you stamp the next time. And wipe this off. Okay, so let's let that nail dry and we'll do a darker color. All right, I'm waiting for this other nail to dry. But anyway, I stamped one of the tarot cards and as you can see, there's a lot of excess sticking out because, see the cards are narrow and you might get designs from the surrounding areas. So to take care of that, you just take a piece of tape. This is hard to see on camera exactly what I'm doing. Just carefully, carefully touch your tape very, very gently to the areas that you want to remove. See, and it's just so gentle that I'm touching this. It's like I'm not even really pressing down and it just takes it right off. Just get your edge of the tape right there. You just clean up your image. And there's your card. All right. And I wanted to show you that you can stamp on, you know, like, because these nails come this color. And you can stamp on those as well. So let me just stamp down on here. And there is the card. And then you go and you find the design that you want to go inside the card. And you can stamp that the same color or a different color. And just go right in the center. How cool is that? So let me pick out which one I want and I'll be back. Okay, so I picked the Empress, so you're just going to center up your design and press it on there. Make sure it comes off of your stamper, and there you go. That's how you can stamp two designs at once. But anyway, the silver one that I wanted to do, it's the stamping color. These lights are very harsh, okay, and they even make me look washed out. These lights are harsh, and so I'm trying to find something that's going to be sort of like a high contrast to look good on the video. <laughs> uh, anyway, let us, I will clean my other plate here in a moment. Let us come over here and do this one because this is so pretty. Just quickly scrape and press. There's your design. I picked up some of their little logo doohickey too down at the bottom. All right. Just get it right where you want it. Just press and just gently here, gently. And there is your design. How pretty is that? And then you can really decorate this up with some, you know, rhinestones or crystals, you know, whatever you want. Really, really pretty. But anyway, nail stamping is just so much fun. <laughs> I highly suggest using their products. Let's take a look at these two. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But anyway, look in the description box and the comments, and I will have links to everything. Let's try to wipe that off there. I have paint and polish all over all of my tools. It's okay. <laughs> I hope you like this video. If you would, please click like, hit subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.